All right, uh, next up here on this uh, Saturday or on this Hitting the Book show, we got Florida State and Wake Forest uh, in the uh, ACC. Uh, it is uh, Florida State 20 point road favorites, 53 being the uh, total here in this one. You have to f- question the spot for Florida State. And look, the letdown spot angle came back a little bit last week. Look at North Carolina after the big win against Miami. They lose outright against Virginia, you know, in that game. It's just so some of these spots where these teams have this, this, these big victories, you do get concerned about laying the big lumber with them the very next week. Does that happen for Florida State? And let's be honest about Florida State. They have themselves a tiger by the tail in that game against Duke until Riley Leonard got injured. And then once he left that game due to injury, that was that. Uh, Henry Bielan was just awful, and he can't move the football against a team of that caliber. And that's when Florida State seized control and ended up not only getting the win, but they also come back to get the point spread cover as well. Very, very tough for Duke because they're right in that game. Hell, they've got a chance to beat Florida State, if I think, if Riley Leonard doesn't get injured. And then things from that point on, and you could see Riley Leonard was just, was, you know, so upset on the sideline when he realized I'm like I, I can't come back and hurt too badly. Um, it's just uh, Florida State, you know, they, they, they were they had a serious challenge on their hands last week. It was a physical game as well. So I'm not saying from a spot perspective that I'm uh, rushing here to lay this number with Florida State, but I can tell you that uh, I'm not a big fan of this Wake team. Uh, a bad beat on my part with Pitt. That was a game that they should have won Pitt, and Wake Forest steals it right at the end. Oh, that was painful. And Wake Forest still wasn't that great, in my opinion, throughout that football game. The offense still is problematic. They missed Sam Hartman in a big way. Hasn't been the same team on that side of the football. Okay, they stole one against Pitt last week, but I still wasn't impressed uh, with uh, Santino uh, Marucci, who ended up being the quarterback. Barely uh, above 50% completions, more interceptions than touchdowns. Uh, And now he's got to face this Florida State team. It's not going to be easy. Now, they do get it at home, this game, Wake Forest. But I'm telling you what, I think this is a – I don't want Wake Forest to not – I get the letdown spot. I get it after the big Duke win on national TV on Saturday night. Maybe Florida State kind of lackadaisical here, but not with this Wake team. Uh, I don't trust them here. Uh, as I just don't think they're that good. So probably a pass for me. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, I don't know if this is enough. One thing with Florida State I've kind of seen, not in all their games, but they've been a little bit asleep the first half. You know, it's took them, they get going in the second half. So maybe Wake Forest, who's always, you know, they played them tough over the years. Uh, maybe first half Wake Forest, if you like it. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking that way. I just don't know in the end if I, I can get there. And this number seems right right about there. Florida State probably wins this game 20 to 27. Uh, but, yeah, off the big win, um, I want to look into a little bit more. I think the, the points could be there. I just don't love this Wake team, you know, just on both sides of the ball. I think they're just average. Uh, but I'm leaning the dog here. 